Here we go, boys. This is it. This is it. We're going. All right. Boat number seven, Kurt Ferguson. Tab Rock, college tournament. My home lake. Here we go. I'm about to pee myself. I'm so excited. 13. What about you? All right. Boat number eight, Alex Falkenberg and Logan Greeno. Hey, good luck, boys. What? Appreciate it.
Okay, there's our first run. I don't think anybody followed me, but if they did, they're not gonna be here for a minute because I was smoking them. Uh, you know, always perch seven, the fastest boat. You know, but uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get to it. Turn on the graphs on. Uh, turn off my lights. Blow my nose. And I think we're ready. Okay, uh, lights. Sweet. Mm, spinner bait. Throw this boy up shallow for a little bit. See if I can get one to I trick one. I love fishing. I mean, who doesn't? Like, how can you not like fishing? Also, we got the, the dual live scope set up over here. Look at that. Pretty fancy. Okay, right, so is there anything up there? I'm not seeing too much. No, not really anything up there. Looks like. It's kind of better up there still. This is a, uh, so for practice, I had pretty much, I mean, maybe a full day of practice if you put them both together. <laughs> I mean, here comes somebody. Here I'm running down. Oh, when that water is clear. That water is way clearer than I thought it was. Okay. What's my water temp? 40 something, holy cow. It was, it was like 50 something yesterday morning. Okay, so let me give you the rundown of the lake real quick. So, uh, you know, if you guys are familiar with Tabrock, Mill Creek's pretty much mid lake. The Indian points like the dam, Long Creek, all that. And you know, Ants Creek's up the river, and then you go to Cape Ferry, and there's a lot of stuff. But, um, you know, Mill Creek right now is muddy. And I like me some clear water. You know, I, mean, I can fish mud as well as the next guy, but I prefer clear water. You know, so we're coming down here today. Maybe it ain't 40 something. Water's warming up, or the temp gauge is warming up. But yeah, we're fishing solo today. And every college tournament I've fished has been solo so far. Yeah, I just don't think somebody wants to fish with me. <laughs> That's what it's starting to feel like. But I'm used to fishing on I almost prefer it. But it is hard to argue with, you know, two rods are better than one. I just don't think they're up here. Just start scanning. Okay, found what we want. Found the tree. So we can keep it just in case. Let's pick you up. Where's my tree at? About right there, I guess. Yep. About right there. Come 
on, fishy. Come on. What happened, sweetheart? Didn't like my coat. You're still down there, though. Come on, pretty girl. Come on. Okay, you don't want it. Spot number two. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna crank here. It's one of my favorite cranking spots. <laughs> Excuse me. My breakfast pizza is biting back. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite cranking spots. And, uh, I mean, the wind is doing something funky. Like, I don't, usually the wind doesn't blow this direction. Usually it's blowing back into this, that big old creek arm right there. And it makes a lot of this just perfect, right? Like, amazing, beautiful. But the wind, I mean, it's not even really blowing on this point. But, I mean, they should be setting up right here. I mean... Like the wind was blowing like this this morning, so I figure it was blowing in all night on this, right? Like that's what you'd have to assume. So I'm gonna crank it and see what's it about. I might, I might live scope a little bit. Doubt it, but I mean, you never know.
spot number three. Uh, if I don't get anything cranking here, then I'm gonna go back to live scoping it and probably pick up cranking like three hours, two hours. Man, I would love if they're up here right now. I would just love it, but I don't. I don't think the conditions are right yet. Including like just time of day. Got him. Oh, tiny small mouth. Let's crank up that drag a little bit. And there's one. There's the first one. That makes me feel good. And there's at least one fish up here. We don't need a rock crawl. In this spot. So maybe get it a little later. Bigger fish will move up here. There we go. Quick release. Sorry I didn't get it on camera, but look at there. Look at that guy. First one. He was hooked pretty good too. I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking a little bit. I'm freaking excited. Oh my god. You guys don't even know. Okay. Manual fill right. Fill both sides. The so right side's gonna be our big side. There you go, sweetheart. You have fun in there. Yeah, you guys just don't know how excited I am. Oh my God. That feels so nice. Finally. I mean, you know what I mean? Just to have a fish. Like, I mean, I was honestly scared I was gonna blank. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean, there's like no wind on this bank. There's just so many things that, you know what I mean? And that dude freaking ate it. Like that guy, that guy wanted that sucker. And I tried to high stick it. <laughs> there were a few things that just shouldn't have went right there that did. Like, thank you, God. Love that guy. I mean, if they're on a crank today, I'll, I'll find them. That's for sure. Now I just gotta make sure that I don't get too excited. And forget everything I know. There's a, I have a couple more crank spots I can go to. I mean, you know, if they're good enough, I'll just wagon train them until that wind goes down. That guy freaking, like, holy cow. Drag's a little tight. Tighten my drag up after that small now. Tiny one. That's a rock.
Yeah, that's what I was throwing right before I got that fish. be honest with you guys it is uh it's tough it's tough for me i uh i ran from that really really clear water down at the dam to this like mid lake stuff and it is not usually like this but change rock crawler colors see if we can get something done and it's just freaking yeah i don't i'm confused like really confused. Well, I'm hung up. I'm gonna take this opportunity to get my net out. But yeah, I mean, maybe I'm just bad at fishing. But there's my phone. Maybe I'm just bad at fishing. But I don't really know what's going on. Cause I mean, I get it. The lakes, lake stuff, right? I always chalk it up to that. But someone's gonna catch him. It might as well be you. If you know what I mean. So I'm gonna try to catch him. Here my rock crawler on, huh? Retriever app.
Got her. we go easy easy but we got about three oh dang we have about an hour and ten minutes left my graphs the wrong time a little bit ago but uh yeah so see if we can get four fish four keepers and uh there's a shad, four keepers in about an hour and 20 minutes. Oh my god, he came off. Oh my god, that sucks. That sucks. Off that tree right there.
got him. Come on, sweetie, come on. Come here, pretty girl. Come here, pretty girl. Oh! Oh my God. I love you, fish. I love you, God. I love everything. Triple check, you're 15. And you're 15. Right on it. Crankbait. I, I wouldn't take advice from me, though. This is only my second one. Well, good luck. You, you have a good day. Yeah, so that was a uh, that was it. That was my fourth or fifth college tournament I believe fourth and also the last one of the year for me it was a uh, you know it's a tough bullet to bite I had five it might be my pocket it's not my pocket I had 502 my big fish the first one I caught was 297 the other one would have been 205 lost one I fished a uh, I mean, I fished pretty clean. Fished, I, fi I mean, besides that one, but I mean, looking at the footage, it's like, had them on for like three seconds, right? Just enough time to be like, oh dang, I got a fish. And also enough time to be like, oh dang, <laughs> I just lost a fish, right? And like enough to be upset about it. But I feel like I put that through my head pretty good. Kept on fishing, got that, so. I caught that last one like 12 minutes before Wayne and I leave, I believe. Maybe 10 minutes. It was super just like last minute heroics, right? Going into Wayne and I was pretty pretty nervous that I would have got last place, but we didn't. I mean, we beat, we beat a good handful of people. I think we probably finished up middle of the pack. I'll put the results like right here or something at the end. But I, uh, I will make like a very more in-depth video on or yeah plan b if you guys want it just comment but I'd, I'd love to make a video just about like what went wrong that day or what what i didn't do wrong i mean what i didn't do right i'm pretty sure i sh shouldn't have shouldn't have started down that clear water but i could have started down that clear water still caught that fish and ran back up to the muddy water with enough time to finish up my limit, I believe. But, you know, that's how it goes. Just look forward to the next one, I guess, right? Uh, at the time of recording this, I mean, so that was, that was Saturday, right? And we have three weeks of school left and then finals. So, yeah, I mean, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I was hoping to go to Champlain with one of my buddies on the fishing team and fish that together, but I don't think Coach wants us to. That's all right. Yeah, I've never been. I do not have small mouth from being down here, and he's from. Yeah, he's born in Canada, so he should have been. He's a big small mouth guy, or at least he knows how to catch them. Knows how to do all that fancy Demiki rig stuff. But yeah, um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you watch this far. 
it really, really means a lot to me. I, I'm so glad I was able to put this out there from my perspective. I just, you know what I mean? It's just really nice. Um, and we did, to, you know, help ease the blow. We did go pretty fast that day. Yeah, that made it. It, it all, it's always nice uh, going fast, even when you're not catching fish. <laughs> it just makes it feel a little bit better. But yeah, I, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you.